players, yep. Australian players, Blue team and is ready. US players. White team is ready. Doing this to so play for us. The, the okay, image ready? is frozen right now, but we have Bamberg in blue against uh, Vienna and white. Now we have. Oh, uh, the, the picture, the, the, the uh, live stream is back. So Bamberg in full strength against uh, Austria. And Austria probably hopes right now they would have the first game against them, at least only with, uh, with three players less. So, uh, we, we are. Bamberg tries to break through and uh, is already on the basket. It was one, uh, uh, the player was swinging through and he tried to push the, the ball behind the back, uh, uh, from above, behind the back into the basket, but didn't succeed. The ball went nowhere, but uh, uh, Bamberg player recovered it. And we are now on the close side, going up to the surface, and the ball falls down to a Bamberg player. And again, uh, the player goes in, and grabs the hold of the uh, goalkeeper, and it, it did quite one well. German against four <laughs> Viennese. Yeah. I mean, remember Vienna won 1 0 against Zurich earlier today? Um, up t until now, uh, Vienna does quite a good job holding Bamberg off. And even is counter attacking now with not being stopped in the middle half. It's a one on one situation now here on the basket of Bamberg. That was quite a thing to swim through the half of Bamberg and even getting in with a second wave. And now the defense is right here by the third wave. He's even going through and pushing in through the basket. Um, that was amazing. And I wonder what uh, Bamberg uh, was doing uh, when uh, these Austrian players were thrumming th through. Normally you don't see them. Uh, letting anything pass the middle line and their forechecking is uh, impeccable uh, at this point but uh, right here probably they were testing their goalkeeper someone lost a fin that's lying next yeah, to yeah we have a fin a loose fin bamber is trying to attack which is not a loose finnish player by the way well Let's see, we have Bamber trying to attack from the close side and passing the ball in the middle. Um, Let's see. But Bamberg is a little bit out of uh, their rhythm uh, if they even have it from the beginning. Um, uh, astonishing how, how Austria succeeds in, in interrupting their attacks. They, they just, they even succeed in snatching away the ball like in this situation and counter-attack and now again an Austrian player. It's one-on-one -on -one situation again. It's, it's interesting. Never saw this happen uh, in a game of a, a team against Bamberg being able to swim through the, through the pool like that. Um, that's new. And Austria has taken advantage of that. Well, uh, probably again, when, when you're a strong team and, and you know that your opponent is probably not as strong as you, you can go sometimes into the water underestimated. And, and that's where you pay sometimes a little bit of a price until you focus, regroup, and then okay. get on your game. And maybe this will happen to Bamber. That, they have that, a tough that's quite start. An, it's quite an arrogant approach, but <laughs> nevertheless. Well, but, but look, I've been in, in, in very strong winning teams. And even if you don't want to do it, in Kong, consciously you do it and if they had a tough start because they were having three missing players and now they say okay now let's play maybe a bit of a more relaxed game against Austria and now a counter attack again from Bamberg um, stopped in the middle that one player still one player only one player. now the second one comes took quite a while and the second one is going up to the service because none of his teams in blue is down there anywhere now we have a fight on the surface um quick uh, um, reply to the question in the chat manuel gallego i will tell you about how you get refereeing uh, certificates uh, in the break and stay now in the game thank you for asking i will try to come back to your question so still zero zero and five minutes into the game of austria against bamberg and I have to admit, uh, Austria is doing a very good job, yeah, or uh, it's Bamberg doing a bad job. I, I'm, I'm well, not sure what's happening here. I think, for me, I mean, Austria is doing a good job. 
and Bamber is not really fully awake. They are, look, I mean, it's very chaotic. It's just one on the water and the, or the others. It's like they they wouldn't have air. Like if Yeah, this is, this is exactly the, the attack we, uh, we normally see from Bamberg. There's an attack from the front. The, the attacker uh, uh, attracts the, the attention of the defenders. And there is one waiting on the side I and he gets a fastball and pushes it in one ball. decisive move. Yeah. Who was it? Which number? You here? I didn't uh, didn't get the number. I'm sorry. So one zero. So one zero here in this game. Um, Bamberg and Science Austria after about five minutes, and it's quite impressive what Austria does here and not so impressive what Bamberg does here again please don't uh, no disrespect here I'm just saying it's uh, not the level we see normally and maybe there's a hidden thing hidden strategy I don't get at all and I don't understand but uh, uh, in this case um, Austria is quite the chance to uh, do more than uh, Bamberg should be should allow them to do in this in this game in the second game of Bamberg here and the Champions Cup and uh, if uh, teams like Molde, Ege, Orcas and Flipper see Bamberg playing like that, it will uh, raise their hopes to. I wouldn't raise my hope. It's just <laughs> no, 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 not at all. I mean, I think yeah, we all been there than that again. Uh, one zero, they maybe you know could start playing a little bit with not so chaotic and with a uh, bit more structure. But um, I don't. I mean, I think Bamber is the clear winner of, the, of this game. They're not really pulling up Absolutely, the most yeah. beautiful game we've ever seen from them. That was last year. It was amazing to see how they play yeah. against As, against was Orca. It was yeah, mold, yeah. yeah. It won us. Uh, it was. Yeah, it was I remember amazing. games. Yeah. But uh, it, it, it looks exhausting what Bamberg does here. It doesn't look uh, um, taking back a little bit of uh, uh, speed and power to, to relax and to chill for the next games, with, which will be more demanding. It looks more, I uh, don't know. Not the Bamberg style I'm used to. No, 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 not really. No, it's. Uh, and here we go it's again. Like Look, and everyone is coming in the sort of phase. Uh, this is. This is interesting. More let's say it's interesting. <laughs> let Let's say they, normally they can do better than that, and we don't. Have and we say it with a lot of love to our German home team. Exactly. We're just defending our honor. <laughs> we, we are. At least mine. You're not German. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, Bamberg is trying to um, go into attack mode again, coming up, um, but being pushed up by the defender. Second wave from Bamberg comes in, third wave, but they're all really high and uh, swimming into the defense. But that's the plan to attract the defense and to uh, create a gap in which uh, the next wave coming in can get the ball and push it into the goal. So again, the uh, Austrian player in the half of Bamberg uh, in on its way to the um, basket. And you know, Lorena, what I'm normally used uh, by Bamberg is yeah. not this physical um, game no, for pulling the ball away from someone, but they intercept. Yeah, yeah, for me, Bamberg, beautiful play is, is the interception play they do with the passes. And, and they swim and they're yeah. you know, very, very, very uh, fluent. It's, it's a little bit um, rusty. It's a little bit like <laughs> rusty is nice because they're <laughs> getting older. Uh, could be, yeah. Oh, you. <laughs> no, no, that's I'm a fact. Serious, and we <laughs> talked, we talked about that uh, on the academy. Pl uh, players getting older in these teams. So again, back in the game, Bamberg uh, bro finally broke free from the attack of uh, yeah. Austrian on their basket, and. Uh, but we see only one player from Bamberg heading forward. Now there is only one player coming down, a second one coming after him. Here we go, very well executed on the head, yep. on the goalkeeper on the close side. 
but still he couldn't execute it because he was tackled away by two Austrian players and uh, pulled out, still in ball control, Humber Bamberg, and uh, pulling out, going for the next wave, dangerous pass, almost in the feet of an Austrian player. And that's it, uh, the first half of the game, uh, Bamberg. 1-0, I'm surprised yep. that it's just 1-0. Yeah, 1-0 is... Uh, this is the second surprise. The first one was Riksu winning yeah. against Molde 1-0, yeah. and this surprise is Bamberg just scoring one yeah. uh, against Jena. By the um. way, these candies are really good. <laughs> I don't think I'm, I'm going to hit them and keep them for myself. So we had a question in the yeah. chat. It was from Manuel uh, Gallego how they can uh, um, referee certificates in the US. Well, uh, the thing is, uh, the best thing would be uh, what we here in Germany do. We have uh, teaching referees. Uh, those are the uh, A referees, and uh, like Bob Robinson here in here? Berlin. And oh. with him, uh, we have uh, seminars where we have to do your uh, 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 referee Test. License? And yeah, and the test. license, exactly. So um, I could put you in contact uh, with uh, with Bob or uh, uh, Manuel. I, I think they need an international, there has to be an international referee that has the, because no, but it I'm not it really sure. Not an international, but he has an A. AA is international okay. and uh, uh, teaching, and uh, a double A is teaching and international, and uh, one A is just t teaching. So. Maybe you should uh, get in contact with Manuel uh, de Moraes. Uh, he could tell you uh, how the you steps, how, to, how, how the to steps. Do. I think the way would be to invite a referee to the U.S. Maybe in a in a space where the most uh, players are and want to do the license and do one seminar with him. That would be the first step. Um, otherwise. And you start with a license C. Yeah. Then you can go B, A, A, A. Yeah. So your your game your your goal should be to get an AA licensed referee in the US or at least an A referee, so you can uh, um, he can teach others and give out licenses. That would be the way to do it. So uh, send us a mail to uh, the Champions Cup or. Um, we yeah, can we relate it uh, here to the um, to the Facebook uh, messenger. I mean, you can send an email there, and then we can put you in contact with the right person. Exactly, that's that's the way. I don't know of any online uh, on the online way to uh, to get a seconds. referee license. Okay. Twenty seconds to go. 20 seconds to go and uh, 15 seconds to go and we have then the next 10 minutes and hopefully we can have, well I'm, I'm seeing maybe Bamber, look, Lucas Stada is outside, I think he's not playing, is that him? No, I don't know. And then see if maybe Bamber can have a bit of a, a nicer game, a bit more structure and a bit more flow with the ball and the movement and they are coming from the middle passing they have one other teammate uh, trying to go over the close side but there are most of them in the surface and we have just one holding the ball in the link and then now okay there's two coming up when you just start after three minutes of a break and I'm really surprised that it takes them long to have two or three players at the same time on the water to build up a wave. We yeah. Look, it's now it's one, you have four of the Vina that's coming over the sides and now trying to make a pass. But um, even against uh, the, uh, um, when they play before I'm trying to remember against what they play. Polisen, they had an extra game. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Even more when dominant, they played with three players less. Control. Yeah, it's like look. I mean, they are on the on the, on the first three meter uh, in the first meter of the of the pool. But it's also um, you always have to see how the other team is is playing and might be maybe able to interrupt. Uh, the game, but normally the, with the experience Bamberg has, they don't let themselves be disturbed by the game of the other team. They enforce their team on them. Call from the referee, it was uh, pushing without ball, holding without ball, holding, no pushing. 
and it's a free throw against Austria. And we have one player from Bamberg already uh, stole the basket away from Austria. And uh, they even exchange on the Austrian basket. Interesting. Oh no, I'm on the wrong side, sorry. <laughs> totally lost my orientation. <laughs> 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 so again uh, going with it's Bamberg to the basket of the Austrian players it's a very slow game if you compare it to some of the games we saw before that's interesting I, I don't know what I'm, what I'm seeing here um, I see a good game by Austria they really give their best and they do a good thing um, and they have a uh, one zero after uh, almost 15 minutes against Bamberg, which is something you have to to work for. And I uh, see Bamberg not really. No. Ma maybe they they are holding back. Do you think they are holding back? No. no Neither no, no. do I. I don't think so. I think they're just kind of not really in the game. And that and happens, that really happens. Yeah, yeah, it absolutely mean, and does. You come out of the water and you say, what is And here again, there? that would be probably, normally is a, a goal if uh, this player is lying on the side, uh, on the open side, waiting for the ball, and he got the ball, but he didn't have enough time to execute it. Uh, oh, he, he, he prevented his, uh, the, the goal from his own player, didn't he? He swam into it, and now here we go. No, not even the now. I mean, the new work has been very lucky because the basket was empty for, for a little while, and the Bumber players couldn't really score. They um, let's see. We have now. I would like to talk yeah. uh, to to one of the Bumber players after that, but normally they don't like to talk. No. So what? here we are. Well, no surprise. In in the end, with all these attacks, surprise, we have only a 2-0. Exactly. Blue 15. Blue 15. Weisenberger. Andreas. Andreas Weisenberger. Andy. I think that uh, now, I mean, the last in, in the last uh, three waves that we saw there, they, they were a little bit more organized, more structured, and they were bringing more a little bit where they can't. But uh, otherwise, either they're like saving energy for the games to come but you you save energy a bit differently you, you maybe you still move the ball you still play they are one under the water everyone on the surface is normally not the way to hold back you try to be in ball control and being one against uh, the front of the goal i mean really funny situation i've never seen in the game from bumberg like that yeah like they're not concentrated huh. like they're huh. So Austria really uh, has his moment in this game. Um, they're fighting like uh, tigers and do yeah, a really good job. Really, I mean, they're sharp and awake. It's, it's amazing to see the Bamberg with the little they are doing. They, you know, still choose zero and, and they are the better team. But it could be a, a nicer game to watch. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not a nice game, that's, no. that's, f that's for sure. Now we have one Bomber yeah, player coming from the open side, from the close side. We say this with love. Yeah, with a lot of love and compared to what they are able to do. Exactly. Um, and the attack from the close side uh, was stopped again. And we have another attack on the close side. But uh, the, the Austrians uh, managed really good to tackle away the attackers. And what we see is now we see a team effort in, in this attack, but still no success. And even uh, um, the player from Bamberg was holding the ball, looking around for a player to pass to, and he lost the ball to an Austrian player who just snatched it away from him. Never seen that in Bamberg. That's um, said with a lot of love and a lot of respect for what they, uh, what they are. And uh, Bamberg is a German uh, champion for 11 times now yeah. in a row. So that's something you have to accomplish against uh, teams like Malch. Um, like and like Krefeld, yeah, well, Krefeld is coming up uh, um, and there will be more and more a challenge for Bamberg and the competition for Malch. But nevertheless, uh, 
In the game we see here, Austria, Austria is doing a good job to keep uh, the 11 times German champion on the run. And with a 0 2 0. And after uh, 17 minutes against Bamberg, they can be proud. And you see it in the, the confidence uh, the Austrians are playing. They, they, uh, they are not impressed what Bamberg well, is showing them. Right now, I think they are holding a little bit back. Which yeah, is okay. yeah, now that it's. Yeah. But in the attack, I mean, you could hold a bit more beautifully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I agree. I totally agree. Oh, oh yeah. that that's all. That was a was funny look in the, our perspective. It, was, it looked like uh, the Austrian player was swinging for the totally empty basket of the Bamberg uh, players, but there was a defender and a goalkeeper there waiting. But nevertheless, it looked quite funny and for was for a, a second, yeah. It, it for a second it looked like he will score onto the empty basket, and now there uh, the Austrian is attacking the basket, um, trying to break through, and they. Do a good job. Defending the ball and passing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they are now attacking the basket of Bamberg. And right? really tough. Uh, the, this player goes in with all he has. Against four blue, that's also not very intelligent to do. You never go No, but, but it's not like uh, in vain he, he, he had a chance. He was close to the basket. It was not like he's doing uh, it for nothing. Uh, uh, one against four normally results in the losing of the ball like this and now a counterattack. So normally you should wait for your other players now they're passing the ball with me up a little bit more at least have two on the water at the same time but look you have four of the austrians there and now it's going to get difficult because yeah they have to breathe and they have two against two and normally w when Bamber is under the goalie they know what they're doing and they can be very very effective they don't need a lot to a score hmm now they took away the defender and the goalie is alone. Okay, then the other defender came and took position. And I can't see where the ball is. Okay, there, the bumper had it and it's coming. And the defender didn't realize that Ooh. the attacker oh. was on the, the other this side. This, had should, this should be a goal. Um, yeah. If you are alone in the back of the goalkeeper yeah. and you have a chance to push him up without being disturbed by a defender. Yeah, the defender completely missed it. He didn't even realize exactly. the ball that Exactly. That should be one movement to pull it in. And uh, I'm quite uh, and this, astonished. And this, is also quite and this pass, I pass, you pass over the head of a Bamberg player. Thought that's impossible. So we have uh, 20 seconds left in the second half. And congratulations to Austria. Yeah, I mean, 2 0 against Bamberg is a, is a, is a very is a success, actually. Yeah, that's a, well, that's no, no doubt in here. If they can keep it, it's the last dangerous situation. Uh, it's even one Bamberg player on the basket. That's it. 2 0 of uh, Austria against Bamberg. Would like to talk to an Austrian player now to know what they expected from that game. Um, at least to, to keep it uh, um, under 10. But uh, what they did was quite different. They. Uh, 2-0 two zero two is, zero is a nice feature they did here. I mean, I'm sure probably Bamberg called a little bit, but it was also not, they were not really completely on the game.